hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you this is young womanhood 101 where we share about healthy lifestyle self-care homemaking and all of that good stuff so if you like that type of content make sure to subscribe but we're doing our monthly reset routine I can't believe it's almost June it's time to get into the summer mood so without further ado let's just jump right on in to this video i'm sitting where i normally sit to start off this reset routine so we are gonna reflect on may first let's go through this may went by so fast for me i just can't believe that may is over and it's mainly because i was out of town for two weekends and it just felt like a lot so in the beginning of may i went to california for a friend's wedding you've seen the vlogs of that before two weekends ago last weekend i went to atlanta to visit some friends i didn't film any vlogs of that because it was so short but i posted some tiktoks i also had some friends visiting birthdays and i don't think that there's anything else that's pretty much what i did i did not do very well on the tasks on the side and I think it's just because I have felt so disoriented I've traveled a lot more this year in 2024 than I expected and I do really love to travel but it's normally like these short weekend trips and for some reason that just takes a lot out of me and it takes a lot out of my time to do like house projects and stuff so that's kind of why I didn't do a lot of these and I'm kind of bummed because I really wanted to make some progress on that but I only have one weekend trip in June so I'm trying to utilize my weekends better this month and get it back on track the book of the month as you saw are in flame I'll talk about that more in my content corner and my dog savings goal, we're saving less than we did before when we were saving for a car, but we are still saving a good amount. So working on that, we are getting closer to buying a car too. So that is very exciting. Alex been finding a lot of good deals. So we're just going to go explore them and see which one fits us best. So very excited about that good big things coming for the second part of this reflection i use this journal and i'm going to go through my reflection questions if you have never watched a reset video of mine before i'll explain what these questions are so let's go to a month so i rate the month give a highlight of the month down point didn't accomplish, did accomplish, energy giving, energy draining, excited for next month, feeling for last month, and grateful for. And I feel like it's important to do this because, especially for me, someone that's not very good at identifying my feelings, doing these kind of random exercises helps me to kind of reflect on how I've actually been feeling about the past month. So I'm going to do that journaling prompt real fast and then we will plan for June. for June. So here is my almost blank June calendar. I have a few important things on there that have already come up for me to write down, but we are going to plan most of it together. So I'm going to put in the days I know I need to go in the office, church events. I don't think there's any birthdays. I think that should be it. So I'm going to put those in 
and I will also put in my monthly tasks because we have a lot of things to work on. So let's get started on writing that down in my planner. a lot of projects here that we are working on so we are car shopping we should get our car this month that should be happening we need to do some things in our backyard to prepare for a puppy because a puppy could definitely escape our backyard in the state that it's in right now so that's kind of what a few of these things are a few of these are remaining spring cleaning projects looking for dogs and a few other things that I don't really want to bother explaining. My book of the month will probably still be Iron Flame because that book is a monster. So I'm working on it in a car and dog saving school. And that is kind of what the planning looks like. This is the part of the reset routine I'm probably the most excited about. We're gonna make a summer bucket list on here. I am so excited for this. I used to do this when I was a teenager like every year and I just stopped but we are bringing back that childlike fun mentality finding a cute little canva template and making one I've already done some crazy summer adventures so far so I'm going to cross those off already but we can definitely add some more on here so let me just find a cute little template I think I made the cutest thing. Sorry, my face is so red. <laughs> I did get some birds, so that's why. But I made the cutest thing on planet Earth. This is my summer bucket list. I will put a picture of it right here while I talk about it. So first things that I did already, sunrise hike and go to a water park that I did in May. What I have left is watch a drive-in movie, go stargazing, go to a concert. That's a little bit optimistic because they're so expensive, but we'll see. Bonfire night, go to a local fair, strawberry picking, host a garden party. I've been wanting to do this forever. So I talked about it in a video before. Tubing down the river, horseback riding, buy a car, road trip with a friend, go hammocking and read four books. Isn't that so cute? 
I think you should do it. This is so much fun. Now for the last portion of this video is our content corner. So not really a lot to update you on, unfortunately. I'm reading Iron Flame. This book is a monster and I don't want to say this, but I think it's putting me in a reading slump because I am kind of in the mood for like summery frilly romances and this is just so thick so dense it's intimidating me even though i'm about 25 percent of the way through i just don't know so i kind of want to just finish it and get to my frilly cute summer books as far as movies go I have been into rewatching old Disney Channel movies <laughs> and I think it's just I'm feeling nostalgic with making Sour Beckless and watching old movies. So I watched the Hannah Montana movie, I watched High School Musical 1 and 2, I haven't watched 3 yet so I obviously love those so I'm sure that you do too. <laughs> I don't have much to say about those. and. TV show, we're still watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Honestly, haven't consumed a lot of content really this month because like I said, we've just been so busy and just not having a lot of time for ourselves. So that's a bummer and I don't really like that. So next month will be different. That is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel and let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me because I love to do this for you and I'll see you whenever I see you next. Bye guys!